What is up guys, Cole Townsend here, and in today's video, we may be getting some bad news. Uh, well first off, to start the video off, the BMW is not running right. Cylinders 5 and 6 are not firing, um, so we all unplug the coil pack out of there and it won't change how the car is running. Um, I've already gone, gone through and done a few things off camera, uh, just wasn't in the mood to film. Uh, but, so I went ahead and I switched the coil packs around, so I moved, made sure that the coil packs weren't bad, and then I switched the spark plugs around, and then that showed me the spark plugs weren't bad, because it didn't follow the issue with when I moved the spark plug, or the coil pack. So it's neither of those things. Um, this wiring could be bad. I have to uh, check it for continuity, but there's two holes right here from a rat, and I found a little rat's nest in here. So let's hope it's not like some crazy wiring problem because because of the what the mouse might have gotten into. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test. So in order to do a compression test on this engine, take your coil packs out. Super easy. You really need like a few tool tools. You need spark plug socket, 3/8 ratchet. I'm gonna use an impact because I'm lazy. Not to put them on, just take them off. And it's also a quarter inch impact, so it's not very strong. And you have to go into your um, fuse box here and figure out, and it'll say on here, which one is your fuel pump, which I think it's this one right here. Pull that fuse so you don't have your fuel pump running because um, you don't want fuel going into the cylinders. Uh, it will affect the compression test and also, yeah, that's all it will do because it's not going to start because you don't have spark. Um, but yeah, we're going to figure out if maybe the head gasket's bad. And hopefully it's not. Um, hopefully we have good compression. Okay guys, so right here it says fuel pump. And then it says the number, which is 18. And here's a diagram of how it lays out. So that's going to be two from the end. So one, two. So it's, yep, this one right here. 15 amp fuse. We'll put that guy in there so we don't lose it. And now, you go ahead and take your spark plug out and screw on the cor and make sure you have the correct fitting for this uh, for the threads and screw that in and then we'll crank it and see what happens it's kinda wet um, yeah I don't know what that means but Hopefully this will show us some stuff that we need to see. Now you go ahead and you put this guy down in the hole where you just took the spark plug out of. and So get it finger tight and then you go ahead and it's really hard to do with one hand. I don't know if I can do it. Nope. Okay. You go ahead and put your gauge on now and then we'll go ahead and crank it. Okay, so you want to hold your throttle wide open and then crank it for about five seconds to eight seconds. There's no crank. Oh, <laughs> clutch. My bad. Throttle, clutch. Okay guys, so I figured out that I had to be out here to watch the, I, had to, I figured out that I had to be out of the car to watch the gauge because it doesn't like stay up there, um, because I mean your valves can be open and the pressure goes out, so that's what I think is going on, but I just did the test with my dad and he helped me, um, something's bad, we got 91, 89, 90, 89, 91, and 45 and 40. So I think the reason the rest of them are so low is just because my rings are gapped really wide and I have really low compression pistons uh, for high boost or like big nitro setup. So engines that we come out of the car, we're not going to be even touching this car though for the next like two weeks probably because exams and stuff. But by the time this video goes out, we'll probably be working on this car. So who knows? Next video might even be me working on this car. But 
Engine's coming out of this car. Oh well. First time building an engine. I guess I messed it up. That kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it here or if I'm going to tow the car to the cabin and do it up there. I'm definitely not driving the car or even starting it from now on. I don't want to risk anything getting damaged else. So, uh, yeah. That's that. Car is not in good shape. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask around, see if I can get anyone else's opinion, but. I think that this is the end of this engine. I don't know if we're going to be doing fixing this engine. Um, depending on how bad this engine is, we're going to be either fixing this engine or putting a different engine in it. <sighs> Not stoked. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, a very emotional video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.